और गैस सो वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ़ यूर समन यूर माई चैनल मैं नेम इज़ निखलेश एंड आई लिव हियर इन बर्लिन टुडे इस टॉपिक इज़ टू एड्रेस ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर करंटली स्टार्टिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मास्टर्स इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग हियर इन जर्मनी इज वेरी वेरी रिच इंडस्ट्री सो मेक श्योर दैट यू वॉच टूडे इज वीडियो टिल दी एंड बिकॉज आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट द यूनिवर्सिटी लिस्ट who is eligible to apply what kind of salaries you can expect which website to check your salary or the positions available right now for the chemical engineering students once you're done with your masters here in chemical engineering it will basically teach you how to technically process materials and chemicals using mathematics and natural sciences i have two friends whom i know very closely one of them works for basf one of them works for uh, bayer in cologne and uh, what i learned from them is that there are many chemical engineers or chemistry graduates from here in germany uh, they work in the field of food production medicine and other engineering fields so if you're a student who's currently studying in chemistry or uh, chemical engineering or process engineering this video is designed for you so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 If some of you are interested to have this presentation I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form if you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment I've been doing this long enough now for little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you are on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so if you are someone who's currently studying bsc that means you will have a 3 years degree or if you're someone who's currently studying engineering that means you have a 4 year degree a student who has 3 years degree that means you have accumulated 180 credit points and if you're someone who has a four year degree that means you have accumulated more than 200 credit points easily it's important that you have enough right subjects in place for example who can apply bachelor's degree in chemical or process engineering or another closely related fields your bachelor's program is considered closely related if it contains thermodynamics fluid mechanics heat and mass transfer mathematics chemistry technical drawing they have taken this just as an example so they'll also ask you for certain amount of gpa and you can calculate your gpa just by go clicking on that link uh of certain university website if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin .de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show india or a list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check 
Mumbai, I'm going to go and type M and then say uh, Mumbai Maharashtra. So this is where you will see Amity University, Mumbai. Uh, it's a private university and it's H plus. That means it's approved. And likewise, you have to go and look for your university. You can change the city name to something else, wherever you come from, you know, and then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay, so for example, this university, it's H minus. Now that this university is H minus, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's a altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H plus. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university, which is uh, right here, nine things uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets, or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. You need SOP. Let's say you're applying for 10 different universities, then you need 10 different SOPs uh, designed. You need three, at least three uh, letter of recommendations. IELTS 6.5 overall, and you need to give academic IELTS, not general IELTS. There are two types, that's why. Work experience letter, if you have any internship or ECA stands for extracurricular activity. Uh, if you have published some academic papers, uh, CV in Europass format, a uh, course module book. Course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering, uh, you know, in a PDF format. What was the course content, what you were taught, which you can get it from your administration. So these are the nine documents which are the basis of application. So there are two intakes in Germany. One is in summer, one is in winter. Summer starts in April. The deadline is 15th of Jan. Normally the application actually begins in by November, December onwards. For winter, it starts in October. The deadline is May uh, 15th. Sometimes the deadlines can also go till June 15th. So in Germany, uh, the application is done via three ways, via university portal, via my assist or combination of first and second. Now, how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application? Well, you'll have to check on the so course you website. Now, now if you've seen about me talking about German GPA, so this is what the breakdown of German GPA is. So one is the highest you can score here in this country. Four is bare minimum, like just pass. Anything beyond four is fail. Now, many of you would already have your grades into either CGPA or SGPA or percentage. How can you calculate that from that grading system to German GPA? I have I have this link right here, uh, which I'm going to click now, and it will take us directly onto the website of Technical University Munich. We're going to convert the grades. Let's say the highest what uh, highest CGPA one can get is ten. Uh, the bare minimum required to pass the degree is five. And you got, let's say, 7.2. That's your German GPA right here. You know, 2.6 is something what you have got. If yours would be, let's say, 8, then it's 2.2. So this is how you calculate grades. So moving forward from here on. All right, now that you have seen that there are so many colleges, how do you keep track of them? There is a, There has to be a structure to it. So in Nikshala, in our company, we follow certain way of doing things, which has been the most efficient what I've seen over the course of time. You're on Google. Make sure that you go ahead and make this on Google Sheet right here. Now that you're here, uh, first of all, go ahead and change the name of the file, University. So this is a kind of structure what I personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university. It starts with serial number right here, then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types. One is the university name and the type of university. So if it's TU, then you write TU right here. Okay. Uh, and then there's a course. Uh, what course is this? So, you know, in this case, it's computational engineering. You can see that how many semesters the program is off. What is the deadline? Does it require you to have German or not? Does it require you to have IELTS or not? 
what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test as or gre what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many years i have used this format with different students so this is where we're going to start talking about universities for masters in chemical engineering i have embedded a link right here you can have this presentation from the description of this video when you press this this is where you come in total there is total of 114 results what you get to see design your list of universities exactly the way i showed you so there's tons of universities select one you know at least 25 30 of them for yourself so let's just go into you know one of the examples so i have a one of my student who's currently studying here in this uh, university in the same course actually he came in last intake through the program i was running course details so i will be discussing this once i'm done discussing this uh, part of the video and this is exactly what i showed you there's a calculator right here you can click here and then subjects what is needed how much gpa so look all of these small little details and design your university shortlisting for chemical engineering as i said in the introduction people from chemical process engineering uh, information technology and different areas are getting themselves into this domain right here you can see so there's chemistry advanced fluid dynamics uh, advanced heat and mass transfer so all of this is there and then further deep you can go and you know process engineering energy engineering is there environmental engineering is there my suggestion for you would be that try to focus on one particular subject and go really deep rather than going too broad because it's very important that you write your thesis in that uh, area because employers would be interested in what projects you wrote and what sort of a subject matter expert are you of what field based on that you know market would be wide open for you as i said so this is one aspect the second aspect of you uh, getting a job would be knowing german language of at least b2 level which is must i would say so jobs and salary or phd i've seen a lot of students actually they go for phd but a good chunk also go and actually work in a big big companies i mean you know germany is known for chemical companies uh, around the world some of the big ones are BASF and Bayer uh, at least that's what I know I think there's also uh, Novartis is there and there are a lot of pharma companies as well who are part of chemical industry anyway so I've embedded a link right here let's go on to the website where you'll get to see the salary and uh, where the job positions are open right now in terms of salaries what you can expect so I'm on gehal.de right now and um, this uh, website will give you an idea of how much you can expect uh, per month when you work as a chemical engineer here in Germany. So on the left hand side there is positions written, uh, right in the center there is cities written uh, where the openings are and on the right hand side, extreme right, uh, there are salaries written per month. You can convert this to per year as well and this is what an average uh, salary a chemical engineer can expect per annum. And you can go on uh, and to the next page. Come onto this website. It's already like, you know, um, as I showed you in the presentation, this link is already embedded there. You press and you land uh, right here on this website. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself. And uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah. If you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.